This video is going to have a look at the Python find method as it applies to a string. Let's consider the following snippet of code. And we can see that the first line is saying string underscore one is going to be assigned never test bathwater with both feet. Now in fact what this is going to produce is an instance of the string class. And I've shown the execution space in previous videos. And what's going to happen here, we are going to have an instance of the string class created. And at its core, it's going to have the string. And of course, there's not enough room here to show all of the string. So if I want to refer to the string, I'll refer to it as it appears here. Of course, this particular object is going to be associated with this name, string underscore one as it appears here in the actual code. If we consider a good schematic diagram for what a string looks like, it's going to look like this. And we can see that this string has appeared here, and we can see that these are the index positions for every character of the string. Now on the next line, we can see that index underscore position is going to be assigned, and this is going to be a message. Of course, this dot here informs us that we're using dot notation. And in fact, this is the object to which we're going to send this method invoker. And the method invoker is fine, and in brackets you can see we're sending the string with. If we now have a look at what that looks like on the schematic diagram, we can see that we have this message here, find, taking with it the string with being sent to this object that is associated with this name and of course this name is on this side of the dot notation so this refers to the object and this is this message here and the dot in the middle tells us which is which to the left of the dot is the object and to the right of the dot is the method invoker and in fact, we can see in the diagram that this particular method is now invoked. And of course, what this method is going to do is going to have a look at this string, which of course we can see better illustrated here. Consequently, we're going to be looking to see where this with is, and we can see it is here. And more to the point, we can see it is starting at index position 22. So what this find method does is actually produce the number 22 because that's the index. That's where the with string starts. It starts at index position 22 and that's what the find will find for us. The starting point of this string with. The starting point as represented by the index position. Of course this 22 is now going to be returned and it's going to be returned to this index position here. Consequently, when we print out this line, we're going to be printing that index position. And of course, the runtime is shown here. And you can see, indeed, it is actually printed 22. Let's now have a look at an amendment to the program we've just considered. Here's the program, and we can see that the only change is here. I have put the word the as the string. In other words, we're going to see if we can find the word the in the string above. So let's have a look what happens. When we execute the first line, we know we're going to get the object created that's going to have the name string underscore one. And in the center, it's going to have the string never test bathwater with both feet, which we can show schematically here. And of course, what this line is going to do, it's going to arrange for a message to be sent to this object. And you can see that the message takes the word the with it. This is then going to invoke the function, which is the find function. And of course, this is now going to have a look at this string, which is in fact looking at this string. And it's going to look for the word the. And you can see it doesn't exist in this particular string. Now, under these circumstances, what will happen is the find will return minus one. And this minus one is now returned, and it will be returned to this position here, to the index position. Consequently, when we print out the index position, what we will get is the runtime, as you can see here. 
So what in fact happens with this find method is it'll tell you the index position of the string if the string is found. If it cannot find the string, it'll return minus 1. And as a programmer, you will know if it's minus 1 being returned that that string, that substring you're looking for, does not appear in the string, the full string that you see in front of you here. If you get another number back, you know that it does exist, and that number tells you the point at which that particular substring exists. Check out the supporting website for these videos, and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.